Hi YouTubers, this is Danny here and I wanted to do a, sm a small drugstore Walmart kind of Marshalls haul or whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of drugstore makeup but I heard that they're upping their game and that uh, they have some great products out there and I just wanted to try some that kind of interested me while I was walking around and looking. And sadly, um, I wasn't too happy about some things. I'm used to like buying like really expensive makeup like the Dior Show mascara that I've been buying religiously for years. Um, the first thing that I bought at the drugstore was um, Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Instant volume, no clumps or whatever, and then waterproof. Um, I like the fact that you can actually get really, really long lashes with these and that you really don't have to worry about curling. And it clumps to certain, like a certain extent. If you like to build on your mascara, of course, it's gonna like clump a little bit. Um, but it doesn't make your lashes dense to where like you can't see through your lashes. I like to have like thick packed like lashes to where like you can't see through them to where they look full and so and long. This just makes sure that they're long. Um, is not something that I would buy again. Um, I'm actually going to return it tomorrow and it's not very heavy like it's you can tell that there's something in it but it's very light for the thick packaging so it's just something that completely turned me off and then the next thing that I bought is like this French eye soothing eye makeup remover with cornflower water um, it's called is by Chlorine or I guess it's called Chlorine or Chlorine, I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a, an award-winning eye makeup remover. But I went on their website and they said all of this, that, and the other. And it's supposed to be good for sensitive eyes. This didn't take off this. Like, they were, like, I spent so long scrubbing my eye. And, like, I washed my face, like, two times. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, I couldn't get that off. And... This, it didn't help. I use this like three nights in a row and it's just not working. So I'm going to take that back as well. And it's like nine bucks for this. And it's this small compared to my hand. And then they have like a bigger one, which is like $16. So I think I'm going to try using a um, makeup removing wipes instead of that. Because I feel like I can get longevity out of that and it'll be cheaper. And I won't have to like scrub my eye area which is not something you want to do if you don't want like permanent bags and then the third thing that I bought that I did not like from the drugstore is this Revlon super lustrous lipstick in fuchsia now this is a pearl lipstick in 657 um it's I don't know I have it on right now I'm a big fan of the lipstick it's actually my favorite type of makeup ever and yeah I don't like anything that's not matte. I'm just a person that really loves matte lipstick a lot and this is cream. I feel like it's harder to keep track of than a lip gloss and I'm a fan of lip gloss and I'm just not feeling the color on me. I don't know why. Like I wanted something like really deep like a deep deep berry but obviously I thought maybe this would come close to it in the packaging and it just didn't so I don't know it's not working. Um, I got that in a buy one, get one half off sale with the Revlon, and I had got this nail polish that I actually really love that I will not be taking back. It is Revlon's Nail Enamel in Posh, number 571 Posh. Yeah, and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's like a Kelly green, like a Kelly grass crayon green. No other type of like dual chrome finishes or sparkles in it. It's just stark vibrant green which I really love um and then I got an SC nail polish in plumberry it's actually the same shade if not a little bit like deeper than my lip uh lipstick that I have on right now I thought it was I, it would be like a really cute like nail polish to wear for um fall um, something bright but still something sort of like pink appropriate for the season so I don't know it's just something that I I'm just I just want to wear berries for some reason yeah of course it's fall you know and um me and my mother yesterday we went to Marshall's and I had got some bath like a bath product 
and a face product there and I'm really not cool with actually buying stuff from discounted stores that had been from other department stores just because they have expiration dates on them um there's only like a certain amount of time that you can use certain stuff like when you see this when you see like a a container or something like this and then it has like 12 m on it that's basically meaning that from coming from the uh, store you have 12 months to use this and so basically I have a year to use this or I don't know how long this had been sitting in the original store and how long it had been sitting in um, Marshall's but I really like this product it's super by Dr. Nicholas Paracone in the detox elixir with watercress and sulforaphane. Um, what it is, you actually, you get like, comes in like the little box or whatever. And um, then you, it comes with a little twisty cap or whatever. And then you get like the spray, uh, the spray thingy in there as well but first it comes with this and you have to put this on but um basically it's a detox elixir that you uh, spray over your face throughout the day you keep this in your purse and it's supposed to recharge uh revitalize um refresh your face it's supposed to um tighten your pores up during the day especially you know you have a lot of makeup on you've been sweating this actually sets um, mineral makeup so this will set your makeup um if you wear mineral makeup i haven't tried this today over like regular makeup so i don't know i don't own any um mineral makeup but i have put this just on my regular skin like i took this with me throughout the day and just kind of like sprayed my face when I felt like my face, my face was getting a little icky and needed to kind of like get like a recharge and I was sweating too much. Yeah, um, I like this a lot. Don't get me wrong, this smells horrible. I don't know if it's the watercress or the uh, sulforaphane that was in the watercress. Uh, it smells like a really stink plant that came out of the sea. Now the good what the bad thing about it is when you spray your face you'll smell like, you're like oh my god it stinks and then like after a minute it will dissipate and it doesn't smell as bad um not as bad actually i didn't smell it at all after like two minutes so that's the good thing it made my skin actually feel dewy and it gave me like a nice glow and then i touched my face and i was like okay my face is not wet but it's giving me this glow i love it so much oh my god it's right all over my face yeah it was wonderful so I think I will be buying this again. This was $30 at Sephora, but I got it for $7. And I will be using this up pretty fast because I don't know how long um, this has been sitting in the store. So I'm going to be making sure that I use that up. And then, yeah. Another thing that I got uh, from Marshalls was the H2O uh, Plus Spa Purifying Seaweed Shower Therapy. It's a really pretty sea green. Um, it's basically like a body wash. It smells so good. I bought it like a year ago and I don't, I don't know. I think they're discontinuing this, but it's awesome. I love it so much and I wish they would bring it back. But, you know, you can buy this online at different random places like Amazon. And then I bought Dr. Till's Milk Bath with Milk and Honey at a wall mart and actually i looked at the ingredients this has no honey in it but it despite the lie that they just like put on the um packaging it smells really really good like a mm, like pretty uh sweet milky cream that's what it smells like and i love it you just put it in the bath and yeah it doesn't foam whatsoever and i paid like 2.98 for this so it was totally worth it i like it and that is my little mini haul. Thanks for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Danny of the Wild. And if you are on Tumblr, follow me at luxury underscore tax. Thanks for watching. Bye.